Okay, so little bad news, guys. Yeah. The dog that lives with my mom just passed away a few minutes ago. The one that had cancer. But she had such a huge bump on the side of her body and we considered having it removed but it was so big that we didn't want to put her through that kind of an operation we've done it before it's a big operation and we didn't want to do it because it takes a long time to recover from that and she was old already and last night I just knew when I saw her that she was going to be gone today. I don't know how I know it. I took some pictures of her. But yeah. Unfortunately it is what it is. So we are digging her grave as we speak. Yeah, that is now the form of low respect or let me say no respect someone who arrives like that because he's just making noise all of the time but in any case we will remember her we called her Ruby because on the 14th of December 2009 we were robbed at this house and the robbers came in and as they left the gate open a little doggy came strolling in and walked through this whole place everywhere here just swinging a little tail I'll never forget it and that was the day we got her so she was not the kind of dog that you could take and bath <laughs> she's never had a bath you could not clip her hair you could not give her an injection she's never been to the vet her whole life she just lived here at the zoo house she was protecting us all of the time now if i say protecting us i mean she was quite a handful you would not just walk in by her and um, she was part of our security we've got a different kind of security here at the zoo house in south africa you need to have walls to keep people from coming in out but walls does not work it could be climbed so what we did was we have some of these and this is what works because you don't need to enter his area and you won't and if you do you're gonna find out why now she was doing this on that side Sharky is still there and uh, Diego wow Diego oh, magnificent and uh, it is what I am showing you guys right here we are protected here at the zoo house we have had our fair share of South African crime and uh, it didn't go that well for them they would not be able to get out with anything if they get out with their lives they are lucky <coughs> hi Diego yeah but yeah since that day Ruby was the one protecting us before we had the tigers 
And I remember when my dad was also confronted in the house. Someone big picked him up, held him under his arms so that he was kicking his little legs. And my father was a big person. This guy was big. And um, that's when we got them. So in that whole thing, well, interesting. One day my dad saw a, a match on TV, a rugby match, and he saw, there's the guy that got me that day. And he recognized him on TV playing rugby because nobody is that big and don't play rugby. But in any case, Ruby was spending her life there and that seems to be over now. So we're going to be burying her still today. The guy, she had a huge growth on her side and it started at the stomach as well. And it just got bigger and bigger. She didn't suffer much. She still ate yesterday. I was watching her. She ate, but she couldn't really eat that well. But I'd say she did not suffer that much. I won't be able to comment on the pain factor, but that is something that I guess everybody needs to go through. Every single animal, every single human, everything goes through that. So, yeah, at least we had her. And that's a long time that we had her. She was old. For a dog that's never... Gosh, she didn't have her toenails clipped. No, I did. A month ago, I did clip her toenails. That's a whole nother story. We had to put her under a slight uh, sleep, which she didn't really sleep. And I had to go in and cut those toenails one at a time. It took me an hour. It was extremely difficult. <laughs> Having a fan blowing inside over the cover that I had over her. And she would let one leg out and I'll clip her toenail. And that was the first time. So she was a very difficult dog to work with. There was no way you were going to take her into a car and take her to the vet. It was easier. It would be easier to take Diego. And I'm serious. Uh, Diego. But we're going to miss her. We're going to remember her. We've got pictures of her from all the time. And I do get a funny feeling when I take a picture of an animal when it's the last one I'll ever take. And I did take those pictures a night or two away ago. So, we're burying her right next to where we buried Trappies. They are all from the same generation. And it is their time now. Unfortunately, it is their time now. They are old. But they have lived their lives. It's different when they have lived their lives. You just feel more satisfied that they have been able to spend time getting to know a lot of personalities. And for years, and build relationships and then only the past away. And that is what makes me so happy about these cats that I got from the, the rubbish dump. Look at this one. She's got so much personality. And she just comes running towards me and him and all of them. <laughs> Look at her now. She is a bundle of joy. She's so happy in the mornings when I get up. 
she comes running towards me that never would have happened if I didn't go and take took all of those cats at the dump site and I treasure each and every relationship that I have made with each animal with humans as well but the thing is with humans they know better and relationships just doesn't always work because of selfish reasons with animals it works even though I could never really touch Ruby it doesn't matter it wasn't necessary and I know her well Diego don't tell me you've got that bone stuck in your throat because then I'm gonna have to come in there and take it out and I really don't feel like doing that I'm a little busy right now well if he can swallow that I know he's got nothing in his throat did you guys each had that big hey why is your one left Enzo I think you got yours I think this one is oh I don't want to I think it is Diego's I'll check the I'll check your stomachs I don't think Diego can eat another one maybe I made a mistake I'm not sure I'm gonna which but I'll watch the video I'll see where my mistake came in but in any case guys thanks for watching I'll show you guys some of Ruby's pictures and now he's gonna go take it okay don't worry he's just taking a chicken he's chasing Diego away Diego did I give you three and him only two but these are big ones so yeah Enzo just said hey you got my chicken there give me my chicken and uh, yeah well thanks for watching like always have a great day